You immediately think the worst of everything, especially with my track record and especially with my family's track records. He basically was told he had constipation and he was given all these laxatives in the world, but it, of course, we all now know that if you've got a blockage of a tumour, that's not gonna cure it. My name is Karen Brown. I'm Professor of Translational Cancer Research at the University of Leicester, and I'm lead for the Cola Prevent trial. I didn't even hesitate, especially after what happened to my father. Um, you know, I just felt it's not just for me I'm doing this, I'm going to do it for him and also for other people. We're basically trying to assess whether different therapies can prevent bowel polyps from occurring in people that might be at risk for these bowel polyps. So the therapies that we're looking at are two old drugs, aspirin and metformin, and a natural compound called resveratrol, which is contained in red wine, peanuts and red grapes. So, so in Leicester, we've been working on resveratrol for the last 25 years at least. Um, we've literally taken it from cells in a dish in the lab through to early clinical trials to understand what doses we should be using and what potential side effects someone might experience, right through to this clinical trial now, Colo Prevent, to try and see whether it actually works in people to prevent bowel polyps. And you see how they're like quite cystic and blown yeah. up? It's so exciting. It's scary, but it's also exciting because it has taken 25 years of, of hard graft and it's hard to get to this stage of, of the clinical trial. We've been through a lot of hurdles. Um, getting the funding was amazing because doing trials with old drugs and doing trials with natural product is, is really, really hard. If my dad was alive now, I mean, I often think about my dad with technology. He was an engineer. Um, he would be amazed at the progress of medical science. I just don't think he would believe what an MRI scan could do or an ultrasound could do. Back in his day, it was just x-ray. At the time, it wasn't a nice experience, but, um, you know, thank God for modern medicine. That's all I can say. <laughs>